ऐसी वीडियोस हैं मिसाल के तौर पर शॉर्ट मूवीज़ होती हैं कई ऐसे ड्रामे होते हैं काफ़ी हद तक उसमें दिखाया जाता है कई ऐसे चैनल्स भी मैंने देखे हैं अब तो बन गए हैं कि बाकायदा वो चैनल्स हैं किसी और टॉपिक के लेकिन किस तरीके से उनकी ड्रेसिंग होती है किस तरीके से उनकी ड्रेसिंग पहनाई जाती है मकसद उनका उसी तरह की ऑडियंस को कैच करना होता है लेकिन बहाना कोई और होता है कुकिंग अक्सर मैंने देखा है कि मैंने देखा अक्सर कुकिंग कर रही होती काफ़ी खातन लेकिन वो कुकिंग मकसद नहीं होता कपड़े कपड़े किस असलम नमस्ते सतरियाकाल कैसे हैं आप लोग उम्मीद करती हूँ ठीक होंगे खुश होंगे मैं मोहजिक अली और मेरे साथ हैं तारिक नियाजी असलम नमस्ते सतरियाकाल उम्मीद करता हूँ ठीक होंगे खुश होंगे दोस्तों जहाँ रहें खुश रहें माँ बाप का ख्याल करेंगे क्योंकि माँ बाप तो सभी कुछ है आज की हमारी वीडियो है आज की हमारी वीडियो है प्रवीण मोहन पाटिल से साथ करते ओके का इस वीडियो का टाइटल है प्रवीण मोहन इंडियन हिस्ट्री रिटोल्ड एंड दी थॉट the rabi show to five nine why on such advanced technology spoken about in our history books yes that's mm. see it's a very it's hard to believe this but you will believe this if you start studying this deeper and deeper you will actually think that there's a calculated plan right so it's done with a purpose this kind of misinformation you know is kind of delivered to us so we won't understand the true nature of history itself yeah um okay to explain what you just said i'm going to bring in a recent learning that i had i was in australia and one of my intentions of visiting australia was learning more about the first nations people or the aboriginal people there who have a lot of remorse towards the settlers okay which is basically europeans who came and like settled in yes. australia because when the europeans came they classified the local people as flora and fauna And wow. the colonizers were allowed to hunt the local people. My God! Now that's the start of it. There was a lot of deceit, a lot of lies, because of which they kind of erased a lot of their culture, including their temples. Wow! There was something called the separation of the children, or something like that. The Great Separation, where they took kids, separated them from the parents, so that the kids end up losing the culture. And Australia was a massive landmass full of lots of different tribes, much. bigger number than we're told by the international reports on it uh, but all that was lost the culture was lost so now it's reduced to fewer tribes lots of lost culture lots of local aboriginal people who don't know much about their culture and parallelly um a lot of them are dealing with alcohol abuse drug abuse now which is kind of injected in to their um life by the colonizers and this is like 200 300 years ago so when it was myself and two of my teammates uh we exchanged notes with all the aboriginal people that listen in india all this other stuff happened and then when you actually put it together you realize that they had it way worse than indians probably because we had much larger numbers our population was bigger we had the fighters all that like the maratha empire the sikh empire maybe the british found it difficult to completely capture the country but Uh, here's what happened. We all know that they kind of leaked a uh, country of money, etc., etc. The Kohinoor diamond situation, all that. What people don't understand, and by people I mean our parents' generation, our grandparents' generation, their parents probably, they were very deeply distanced from the real history of our country. What happened to the Aboriginal people in terms of that separation, where kids were separated from fam? For us, our hearts were separated from our culture. through our history books maybe wrong history is taught to us um in africa when colonizers left they drew straight borders in order to separate tribes into two countries oh <laughs> so why 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 should a country have straight borders that doesn't make any geographical sense uh their version of kind of messing up the country before they left from here is one the india pakistan divide hmm. to divide like the massive population to cause strife uh economic uh, policies uh keeping puppet leaders in charge which i've learned through like geopolitical experts on the show and most importantly changing our education system making it a little messed up and a lot of us are victims of it with a rote learning mentality wrong history um difficulties in even changing the education system all that was left for us to deal with over like 50 60 years and we're now past that 75 year mark So this is when people are realizing it through content, through what you said at the start of the episode that content releases real information on the internet. But the older you get as a human being, the more your brain kind of freezes, and this is neuroscience. So a lot of people who studied that false history and false 
narrative the entire life struggle to come to terms with the reality of their own country now and you can't even blame them because that's how the brain operates uh i just hope that you know what you're trying to do what so many of the guests you had on the podcast are trying to do, what this podcast is trying to do as well it kind of begins that change in actual indian narratives what's your search for now after seeing so many temples this is not the end of the podcast we're going to talk a lot more yeah. but what's next for you in terms of i'm sure this is a subject and this is your subject i feel every human has their one subject your your subject is like temples what's next in your quest there's no set quest right so the the human mind is kind of a, a strange thing because if you want to see god eventually you will because the human mind kind of mm you if you want to see the devil or if you want to see anything right so if you want to see like tom and jerry you can your mind starts to to find it <laughs> so the main part of my research is to like keep it completely open right i'm i'm not limited to temples of india i'm not even limited to temples of like southeast asia or hindu temples or something like that i'm actually um traveling around the world really with an open mind to see what's and this is how it started right so it started with uh, going to peru going to uh, colombia uh going to cambodia going to mexico and finding what's out there because if you go there with a uh, predisposition like mm. if you say oh i'm going to find this then you will find this right but you also have a tendency to misinterpret information bias yes mm. yes that information so you're not going to uh, have this is very common in india right so uh, people have already picked their sides right about what they want and it actually prevents us from understanding the reality as it is and this is a huge problem when we um when we put out information yeah this is i'm i'm sure you're labeled as right wing because of the nature of your work oh sure i didn't even know i <laughs> how, how it started i'm i'm labeled as like right wing <laughs> uh, because i like learning about these subjects but i've just realized no matter what you do on the internet you're going to be put into a box Yes. So might as well just continue and enjoy your work. But I mean it's uh there are the internet is a, a weird place, right? People get to talk anything. So I'm not bothered by it. I'm not, I I don't care about that. And and it keeps uh, in my videos. They keep switching it because sometimes I'll make a video. I think 3 or 4 videos ago I made a video like did Christianity begin in India or something like that. Suddenly now I'm flooded with messages saying like, "Oh, my god, how much did Christians pay you?" <laughs> <laughs> so that will also happen to me because a lot of times I will see I'm only here to show you what I found and mm. how I interpret that information, right? Sometimes it may confirm your confirmation bias. Sometimes it may be against that. I shouldn't be worried about you know mm. i should i should be able to tell you whatever i feel like telling you mm. and uh, see i started out in the us and i i've showed many ancient sites in the us by the way, multiple maybe 20 different sites and a uh, few sites in peru uh, do, few, you, do you feel parallels with indian sites of course of course many many parallels with the uh, hindu sites and that's why i came back to india I I did not actually plan on coming back to India but when I started to look at ancient sites I started to realize oh my god there's just so much similarity between Hindus and let's say Peruvian civilization or Incas to ends of the world yes like I think if you dig a hole through India you'll probably land up somewhere in South America yes that's how far they are yes and then you can but you can see that they are in many ways very similar right they worship if you go to peru the popular gods they worship nagas really yeah they worship okay <laughs> let's talk about this <laughs> let's let's talk about even the modern day naga worship in india what are nagas i have a crazy theory and this is just a pure fan fiction theory this is there's no 
truth behind this. I would like to believe that some of the dinosaurs survived and then eventually evolved to become Nagas? Yeah. Uh, I mean, but it's a very deep fanboy theory. Yeah, this is just I'm just throwing it out there. What if? You never know. Because my question is, you know, they say that uh if you actually study dinosaurs in general, uh there was different periods like Cretaceous, Jurassic, etc, etc. Uh we think that all those time periods were very close to themselves and then human beings happened like way later but if you actually put the timeline in front of you you are nearer to the last dinosaur period than the last dinosaur period was to the one before it oh <laughs> so it's just relatively like closer <laughs> why did but that's still 65 million years ago why didn't they evolve to become something over such a long time span or did they Hey, this is just theory. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of throwing out a question. This is a very good thought like, experiment. Uh, this idea that there are some strange findings that 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 you will think it's interesting. I've I've put them online. I've put them on YouTube. If you go to um, Tapram Temple in Cambodia, this hmm. is an ancient Hindu site. Okay, it's a Brahma temple. Okay, a temple built for Brahma, but they call it Tapram now. It is in Cambodia. What does that mean? That's it's history? just the local way of saying Brahma. Okay. Okay. Um you will actually find a dinosaur carved in the temple. It looks exactly like a specific dinosaur called Stegosaurus. Mm. Okay. And there's supposed to be a Stegosaurus in Democratic Republic of Congo as well. Like that's there's been sightings which still, are still still existing. Yeah, Mukelle Mbembe. Oh, really? It's come up on the show. Oh. Again, it's a theory and the local pygmies there believe that it's there. Yeah. I had lots of people on the show with opposing opinions. Some very strong positive ones, some strong negative ones. But go on, sir. But this is really interesting, right? Because look, if ancient Indians or in this case ancient Hindus in Cambodia carved this temple maybe a thousand years ago, 2000 years ago, but dinosaurs according to most experts became extinct 65 million years ago so how did the sculptors carve the stegosaurus accurately in that temple right so this this is there and then you can find many strange carvings very similar to dinosaurs in mahabalipur you can find extinct mm. species i i put this on Pramin Mohan channel periodically i will keep on putting it like every year i'll find a species of dinosaur or some extinct animal we for example in angkor wat you can find an elephant with uh, four tusks okay and th and that species became extinct maybe like 100000 years ago mm. we have they've found skeletons and then fossils of the four tusks elephant it was the ancestor of the mammoth yeah. possibly yes but it became extinct long time ago how did the sculptors carve that right if the temples are look i mean you don't know what species existed 1 lakh years ago you don't know that right how can you if i ask you to paint something how will you paint a species that existed 100000 years ago unless you know you had records like how we have you know paleontology and all these department records today mm. so how do they do that so we do find carvings of extinct species in many ancient sites okay and then all culture have had dragons <laughs> let's do it <laughs> <laughs> but you know this all cultures have had dragons not only in in many people only think oh it's chinese or something like that. If you go to many of the ancient Hindu temples you will see carvings of dragons and like you have to wonder are they dragons or are they actually like dinosaurs I think before you open up this topic I'd love for you to give the Hindu narrative on what nagas are slash were uh based on whatever you know about it or whatever you've learned over your journey Okay Now my perspective of naga it's uh it's can be quite different and it has other meanings as well we all know nagas most hindus know nagas it's 
the word we use for snake. Okay. But how are Nagas mentioned in ancient times? Right? They were not snakes. They were not humans as well, right? They were a completely different species that looked like humanoids, right? That they looked human, but they could also shape shift. Oh, really? Yes. They could change into whatever they wanted to be. And they never lived on the ground. They always lived in subterranean levels, meaning they only lived underground. Sometimes, this is why, you know, the Nagas belong in the Patala Loka. You know this, yeah. right, don't you? And, and also when uh, Bhim was, uh, I mean, when the Kauravas tried killing Bhim in the Mahabharata, they throw him in a lake and at the bottom of the lake, he finds a world of the Nagas yes. who actually help him survive. I mean, that's the story. Yes. But go on. Yes. But if you go to Mahabalipuram, you can actually see Nagas changing their shape from snakes to human. You can see them like kind of coming out of the underground level and then like becoming almost human, right? And all the other people are just like looking at the transformation. You can see carvings like that. So in modern terms, right, Nagas are reptilians, right? They're an alien species that are able to change color, change shape. They can look like human if they wanted to, and they live in a different dimension. They, they kind of lived underground or something. Okay. If you're into that, if YouTube is not going to ban your video, then... <laughs> YouTube banned your video for doing this? Well, YouTube banned many of my videos, right? YouTube banned, uh, demonetized, banned, deleted thumbnails. It on keeps... what on what basis? I saw a recent video of yours where I think you got into trouble for showing a sculpture and YouTube banned it because they said nudity or something like that was a part of it. I have a long history of videos getting banned, demonetized by YouTube. Um, my Kutub Minar video was demonetized. My Taj Mahal video was demonetized. Any content that challenges the mainstream narrative, right? gets demonetized. This has always happened. I mean, I even made a, made videos about this two years ago, saying that YouTube is constantly doing this. Uh, now, YouTube has come up with a completely different idea. And this is really fascinating to me because YouTube says, oh, there's nudity <laughs> in your content. And I'm just showing a temple. Okay. Are you so sure you didn't take your show at all, Mrs. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I never see, see most of the videos I never show like actually I don't even show my face. In if it's a 10 minute video, you only see my face for a minute. Okay. For the rest of the nine minutes, you only see carving. Okay. So I'm I'm very focused on that. It's because your face is so sexy. <laughs> okay, go on, go on. So, but what what YouTube is actually saying is that the Hindu gods must be covered up. We, our gods are going to look like this. They're going to be half naked or full naked. Because okay. apparently that's how we dressed before the invasions. Yes. Right. Look, I mean, who's, who's saying this to who? You can go to the U.S. and you can go to the nude beaches today. Right. And they think it's cool to have nude beaches. And they're telling Indians about fashion and all this stuff. We used to be really, quote unquote, liberal. We were really carefree back then. That's how my gods are going to look. Our gods are going to, they don't bother, right? We didn't have to cover up because somebody's going to come and steal us or something like that. We were a free culture, okay? Our gods, if they don't want to wear clothes, they can not wear clothes. We lived in a free society back then. Okay, and that's how the gods were going to look in ancient temples. We're not, we cannot change it, right? And, and YouTube has also said, no, this is too violent, right? Because what, Narasimha is, is killing a demon? Like, how are you going to change that? I, so YouTube is actually putting on conditions saying that, oh, this is nudity. And this is not only for female carvings and not only limited to Hinduism. There is a giant carving of uh, Bahubali 
He's a Jain god in Shravana Balagola. Do you know this? There is a temple in Karnataka. This is a Jain temple, by the way. And this has a huge monolithic statue of a male, you know, prophet, if you will. His name is Bahubali. And of course he's naked, right? Of course. He's a monk. He has detached himself from the whole world. Do you think he's going to be completely covered up or something like that? He's naked. And that video got banned, saying that, oh, this is nudity. So what is YouTube saying about this? right? Or ancient Indian temples, adults only sites or something like that. So should we take our kids to temples or should we be like, oh, like, my God, I shouldn't take my kids to the temples because it's like, it's full of like nude carvings or something mm -hmm. like that. That's impossible, right? The temples give you insane amount of knowledge, right? So, but, but then, there is also a racist angle to this, okay? But I don't know if you should put this on your channel, by the way. That's okay. I, <laughs> That's all right. But whatever I touch, I, I, everything turns, becomes banned. <laughs> so, yeah, should, touch, <laughs> yeah, so that could, I, I seriously don't know if you will put it, but YouTube has a racist angle to that game, right? For example, you, YouTube has videos of, museum in Athens, right? That shows all the Greek gods and Greek goddesses. They're all completely nude. YouTube doesn't ban them. YouTube doesn't demonetize them. But why ban only Hindu carving? Why ban only Indian carving? Now, we have to be extremely careful with this, okay? Uh, because why did I make a video about this? I don't normally make videos, man. I don't like drama, to be honest with you. I don't make drama videos. Like nobody knows who I am, like what I do or where I live. I don't like that stuff. I only focus on ancient sites. But why am I making a video like that, right? Because YouTube is modifying the behavior of thousands of YouTubers who cover Hindu temples. You understand? So YouTube demonetizes my video saying that, oh, this is nudity. It's not only demonetizing me, it's going to demonetize Ramesh or Suresh who's also covering Hindu temples. It'll send out this information to, like, let's say, 10,000 YouTubers. Most of the YouTubers will not even reply back. They will only think of it as a punishment and say, look, this is a problem. If we film Hindu temples, YouTube is going to ban me. So now let me go film a mall. Now let me go film a beach, right? So it's consciously programming people away from the Hindu temples. You understand? So this is what I'm trying to uh, raise awareness about, is that it should not exist. You know, the Hindu temples should not be banned or demonetized. You know? Yeah, I hear you. Um, I have to bring you back to the Nagas, though. Oh. Like, because oh, um. yeah, we, we trailed <laughs> off, and I love the trail off, but uh, uh, the Nagas thing caught my attention. So you explained what Nagas are. I gave my fan fiction theory about <laughs> how maybe they've evolved from dinosaurs. You never know. Yes. Uh, my question is about what you saw abroad. You said that Peru had a version of the Nagas. What's up? It's a little bit of a strange theory, but, but Nagas are actually found everywhere. Okay, you can go to the US and you can see a great serpent mound in Ohio. This is a giant snake that you can only see from the air. And um, if you go to Peru, these are called Amaru, which basically is a Sanskrit word. Amar means an immortal god, right? Right, in Sanskrit. If you go to Colombia, you can see the Nagas guarding. You can, uh, if you go to Colombia, there's a place called San Agustin. And then you can see a lingam guarded by a Naga. Like a shivling. Yeah. जी जनाब वाला बर्दस बहुत ही ज़्यादा इंटरेस्टिंग तो चल रही है और बहुत ज़्यादा लंबा हम वीडियो देखेंगे तो बहुत ज़्यादा लंबा रिएक्शन देना पड़ेगा तो बहुत ज़्यादा लंबी वीडियो जाएगी बच्चे अच्छा बहुत सारे पॉइंट्स फिक्स ही हो जाएंगे ना अभी हमने कुछ पार्ट्स के अंदर तीन पार्ट्स निकले हैं इस वजह से भी हम पार्ट्स 
बाकी के सारे टेम्पल अगर उन्होंने कवर कर लिए हैं या सारे टेम्पल कवर कर लेंगे तो फिर कहाँ जाएंगे मेरे जहन में तो फ़ौरन हमारा घर आ रहा था कि आप पाकिस्तान आ जाए हम आपको दावत दें हम आपको मतलब एक तरह से गेस्ट की तरह लें और बाकायदा अच्छा ऐसा होता है कि हम पाकिस्तान से कोई इंडिया जा रहा हो या इंडिया से पाकिस्तान आ रहा हो तो कहीं ना कहीं सिक्योरिटी की ज़रूरत पड़ती है सिक्योरिटी मतलब श्योरिटी कि आपको कौन है वहाँ जानने वाला किसके पास जा रहे हो तो वो शख्स अगर अलाउ करेगा तो वह जिम्मेदारी लेगा तो मैं ये सोच रहा था कि यहाँ पर बलूचिस्तान में 500 साल पुराना टेंपल है और या पाँच हज़ार साल पुराना टेंपल है बलूचिस्तान में काफ़ी है और बहुत बड़ा मतलब है कि कॉमेंट्स भी आते हैं या काफ़ी ऐसे जिक्र भी होता है लोगों दोस्तों के साथ भी तो वो बड़ा देखना चाहते हैं लोग तो उसके हवाले से भी ये रिसर्च कर सकते हैं कराची में भी बहुत सारे टेम्पल हैं सिंध में बहुत सारे टेम्पल हैं सिंध में अभी भी बहुत सारी हिंदू कम्यूनिटी मौजूद हैं और मतलब मैं मैं समझ रहा था कि नेक्स्ट स्टेप ये कहेंगे कि शायद मैं पाकिस्तान जाऊँगा क्योंकि देखिए एक ही था तो टेम्पल से जाहिर सी बात है कि मलाइशिया में श्रीलंका में यहाँ यहाँ भी होंगे तो पाकिस्तान में भी ज़रूर होंगे सब इन्होंने तीन चार कंट्रीज के तो जिक्र भी करे इन्होंने कहा जो बहुत एंशियन साइट्स हैं ना जैसे इंडिया में उसी तरह के एंशियन साइट्स बिल्कुल सिमिलर बिल्कुल पैरल मैक्सिको में भी हैं कोलंबिया में भी है कंबोडिया में भी है पैरू में भी है पैरू का तो बोल रहे थे बिल्कुल पैरल बिल्कुल सिमिलर जैसे इंडिया में टेम्पल्स हैं जिस तरह के जिस तरीके के अच्छा वो बड़ा मुझे हैरान कर लगा कि डायनासोर इतने सालों पहले यानी कि वो कह रहे हैं कुछ नहीं कुछ नहीं वो टेम्पल 800 साल पुराना होगा या सात साल पुराना होगा या छः साल पुराना होगा या हज़ार साल भी पुराना होगा लेकिन डायनासोर के बारे में वो बार बार कह रहे हैं कि सिक्सटी मिलियन ईयर्स अब होते हो अब ये बात समझ से बाहर है अक्ल हैरान है दम है इस पर कि फिर उसकी एक चित्रकारी या ये कह लें कि उसकी मूर्ति कैसे मौजूद है टेंपल में इसके पीछे क्या रीज़न है क्या वजह है कैसे पहुंची वहाँ अच्छा एक तो ये बात हो गई कि बहुत मुझे हैरान कुल लगी दूसरी बात ये है कि अभी इस तरफ आ रहे थे यूट्यूब की तरफ तो यूट्यूब में मैं बहुत मुझे अफसोस भी हुआ थोड़ा सा ये सुनकर कि बहुत सारे लोग हैं कह रहे हैं सिर्फ मेरे साथ ऐसा यूट्यूब नहीं करता कि मेरी वीडियोस को डिमोनेटाइज कर देता है कह रहे हैं बहुत सारे टेम्पल्स की वीडियोस को डिमोनेटाइज कर दिया बाहुबली वाला भी बता रहे थे कि भाई बार बार ये कहते हैं न्यू डिटी है नेगेटिव है। तो कह रहे हैं मेरे साथ ही नहीं होता और भी बहुत सारे यूट्यूबर्स हैं जो ऐसी वीडियोज़ बनाते हैं जैसे टेम्पल के हवाले से तो अच्छा इनकी बहुत सारी वीडियोज़ मैंने देखी हैं इस किस्म की कि बिल्कुल जैसे हम कहेंगे बिल्कुल न्यूड है लेकिन वो फिर भी डली हुई है हमने उनको देखा भी एक आपको याद होगा बर्थ वाली जो वीडियो थी जिसके अंदर पूरा केस बताया गया था तो वो थोड़ी सी थी ऐसी लेकिन खैर वो है तो ये बाकायदा कह रहे हैं कि वो यूट्यूबर्स पलट कर बात ही नहीं करते पलट कर तो उनको कोई रिप्लाई नहीं देते अगर यूट्यूब की तरफ से कोई मैसेज आ जाता है कोई डिमोनाटाइज कर देता है आपकी वीडियो को तो आप जवाब ही नहीं देते हो बात ही नहीं करते उनको मेल करते ही नहीं हो बल्कि आप अपना एक तरीके से क्राइटेरिया बदल देते हो आप क्या करते हो आप कहते चलो यार मॉल्स की वीडियोस बना लेता हूँ कुछ और वीडियोस बना लेता हूँ यहाँ तो भाई इस वीडियोस में तो मुझे दिक्कत या परेशानी का सामना करना पड़ा है इन्होंने कहा कि मैं बकायदा रिप्लाई देता हूँ बकायदा बात करता हूँ उनसे और मैं मतलब अटल होकर बात करता हूँ कि यार ये है ये है ये मसला है मतलब जो सवाल वो जवाब उसका सब जवाब से न्यूडिटी की बात कर रहे थे वो कहने लगे कि इसके अंदर बहुत नॉलेज है हमारे टेम्पल्स में तो बहुत कुछ है और जब ये वीडियो अपलोड होती होगी आप ये देखिए इससे कितने लोगों को नॉलेज मिलती होगी हम पाकिस्तान के इस हिस्से में कराची में बैठ इतना कुछ जान पाए मैं कहूँगी टेम्पल्स के हवाले से अगर मैं कहूँ सेवेंटी नॉलेज मुझे प्रवीण मोहन जी की वीडियोज़ से मिली है थर्टी परसेंट डिफरेंट वीडियो से मिली है लेकिन सेवेंटी परसेंट नॉलेज मुझे प्रवीण मोहन जी की वीडियो से मिली है तो इसको होना चाहिए इसको अब वो ये कह रहे हैं ग्रीक में ग्रीक के हवाले से भी वो बता रहे हैं कि उन वीडियोस के ऊपर नहीं लगाते वो डिमोनेटाइज नहीं करता लेकिन इंडियन टेम्पल्स की जब बात आती है वो डिमोनेटाइज कर देते हैं अच्छा इसके अलावा वैसे कई ऐसी वीडियोज़ हैं मिसाल के तौर पर शॉर्ट मूवीज़ होती हैं कई ऐसे ड्रामे होते हैं काफ़ी हद तक उसमें दिखाया जाता है कई ऐसे चैनल्स भी मैंने देखे अब तो बन गए हैं कि बाकायदा वो चैनल्स हैं किसी और टॉपिक के लेकिन किस तरीके से उनकी ड्रेसिंग होती है किस तरीके से उनकी ड्रेसिंग पहनाई जाती है मकसद उनका उसी तरह की ऑडियंस को कैच करना होता है लेकिन बहाना कोई और होता है कुकिंग अक्सर मैंने देखा है कुल नहीं हो रहा होता है कि मैंने देखा अक्सर कुकिंग कर रही होती है काफ़ी खातन लेकिन वो कुकिंग मकसद नहीं होता कपड़े कपड़े किस तरीके से पहनाए जाते हैं तो वहाँ पर डिमोनिटाइजेशन नहीं है वहाँ पर देखना चाहिए अच्छा ये तो पत्थर हैं मतलब यूँ समझ लो तो ये तो जीते जागते लोग भी नहीं हैं और नॉलेज है और बाकायदा एक एशियंस और पुराने दौर की एक टेम्पल्स हैं तो उसमें तो मेरे ख्याल में होना भी नहीं चाहिए नॉलेज दे रहा है एक शख्स अच्छा दूसरी चीज़ 
या मजहबी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से भी कोई बातें हो सकती हैं तो उस उन चीज़ों को यूट्यूब देखेगा उस पिक्चर को या उस आज़ा को या उस पार्ट्स को नहीं देखेगा यूट्यूब मैं समझता हूँ लेकिन ये वाकई कोई ना कोई ऐसी उनकी पॉलिसी होगी कि किसी तरीके से मैं जहाँ तक समझ रहा हूँ कि शायद शायद ये चीज़ें वायरल ना हो शायद ये चीज़ दुनिया तक ना पहुँचे मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है बाकी डायनासोर की बात होगी तो मतलब जिस तरीके से आज हमें डायनासोर के बारे में पता है या उनके डिज़ाइन के बारे में पता है या उनकी एक उनके जो ढांचे मिले हैं तो शायद उन्हें भी मिले थे इसका मतलब है शायद उन्हें भी इस तरह की जब देखिए टेम्पल्स बन रहे हैं खुदाइयाँ हुई होंगी तो खुदाइयों के दरमियान में उन्हें भी इस तरह के ढांचे मिले होंगे तभी जाके उन्होंने उनकी जो स्ट्रक्चर है उनकी जो शबी है उन्होंने अपने टेम्पल्स में बनाई है तो बातें बहुत मज़ेदार बहुत ही नाग वाली जो हिस्ट्री है नाग वाला थोड़ा सा हमें पता था जैसे नाग रूप धारण कर लेता है सौ साल से ज़्यादा जब कोई नाग जीता है या सांप जीता है ऐसा कुछ था मैंने देखा था तो वो इंसानी रूप धारण कर सकता है ऐसा वही बातें हो रही थी वही चीज़ें बताई जाती थी इस टॉपिक में थोड़ी बहुत नॉलेज थी मुझे इस चीज़ की पता था मुझे कि काफ़ी हज़ारों साल की ज़िंदगी होती है अच्छा ये इनके रिलीजियस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से बहुत अहमियत का हामिल है हमें तो इतना ज़्यादा नॉलेज नहीं है इसके बारे में लेकिन यहाँ तक इस हद तक मैंने बातें सुनी थी कि इनके शेप चेंज होते हैं इनका स्ट्रक्चर चेंज हो जाता है ये रूप धारण कर लेते हैं ये तो पता था अच्छा एक हम हमने सुना है कि जैसे एक मिथ है या एक लॉजिक है कि सौ साल बाद जो है नाग जो है लेकिन ये नागा जो है इनके बारे में बता रहे थे कि बाकायदा ये किसी भी वक्त कुछ भी बन जाते थे ये यानी यूँ समझ ले कि तहर तहर के आ रहे हैं नदी में से तो निकलने के बाद ये इंसानी रूप धार कर लेते हैं कुछ भी मतलब ये किसी वक्त भी रूप धार कर सकते हैं तो इस इसके बारे में कहते हैं लेकिन बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग लग रहा था और क्या कहते हैं रणवीर अलाबादी रणवीर अलाबादी अभिजीत चावला ऐसा लगता है इन दोनों के चैनल था हमने शुरू में हमारी इमेज में ना वो हमारी जो मैं वो ऐसे हाँ वो बस बड़ा मसला है आदतें आदतें जो है ना वो आस्ते आस्ते टूटती हैं बहुत सारी आदतें होती हैं इंसान की जो आस्ते आस्ते इंसान चेंज करनी चाहिए वक्त के साथ साथ माहौल के साथ साथ किस तरीके से क्या वक्त के साथ साथ माहौल बनता है तो वो जो इन दोनों को जोड़ा हुआ हमने देखा था तो वो अभी तक हमारे मुँह में उसी उन्हीं का ही लफ्ज़ आ जाता है तो खैर बहरहाल बहुत अच्छा था बहुत आगे आगे भी देखेंगे इंटरेस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग है वीडियो इन्फॉर्मेटिव है बहुत ज़्यादा इसके अंदर नॉलेज है तो दोबारा किसी और रिसोर्स से मुलाकात होगी जब तक के लिए अल्लाह